a few weeks ago, Mace, he went viral over some comments he made about the night that Biggie got killed. He said that after Biggie got killed, over 70 bloods went to his hotel room looking for him to try to kill him. And he said that she was the only one that came to his hotel room to get him. Well, Mace, you know, was from Harlem. And when I seen Mace run, driving around to California with Stevie J and his other guy in a drop top white Benz, you know, I flipped on him. I was like, yo, my man, you from Harlem. Don't you know these cats out here will tear your head down to the white meat? What's wrong with you? It's not sweet out here, bro. Then Mace said, yeah, I know. And he told me about the basketball game or something that he went to and they, how they was telling him that they wanted big and puff and he was all right. He was good. So Mace did not show up to the party the night Big got murdered. He said he was in the room with Brandy. Right. I called Mace that morning and uh, me and Mace spoke. And then he was telling me all them bloods and everything that was out there. So I was with a couple of dudes that were from Black Hands, which is a part of the Black Gorilla Mafia. You know what I mean? And we just went to the end of his hallway. He said it was a lot of bloods out there. And some, there's some dudes out there I wasn't recognizing. You, you know, I recognized, but I don't think it was, you know, he said it was like 70. When I got there, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't that many dudes out there like that. But he could have seen 70, 17, 20, 30. When, when you think somebody trying to get you, you and niggas is running the hallways because they know bad boy was staying there, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of dudes. So when I got there with my team and everything, dudes who was came to the hospital with us, we was good. So all we had to do was put them in a cab or, or, or car service so he can go where he had to go. And that was it. It was To me, it wasn't nothing. You understand? But to somebody in fear of their life, I can understand where he coming from. You feel me? You know, I'm already, you know, we already lost big. We on high alert. You understand? And now I got some dudes with me that's about it, about it. That's what they do. You know, I was with Chaz Williams and a couple of his dudes from out there in Cali. You understand? They belong to the gorilla, uh, the, I think it's the Black Gorilla Mafia or family. And then I'm with Black Hands. And Chaz had a couple of his dudes. So I'm good. So we just made sure Mace was good. Yeah, he said that she was the only one that came to get him. He said that, you know, everybody that he went to L.A. with, he ain't leave with, you know. He said that everybody else was looking out for themselves. Well, <laughs> Puff went to San Diego and they put him on a jet about two hours after Big died. You know what I mean? So... Uh, Clarence Avant and, um, what's his name? Clarence Avant and Andre Harrell made sure we did that. I was supposed to go on the plane with him, but I was like, nah, I, I ain't effing with you, bro. I'm out of here. So I went with the thing because we was going to follow him that whole 120 miles. And, um, he said, no, nah, we ain't need all that. So I didn't understand that. So I just jumped in the car with Chaz and the other teams and we went back to the hotel and then got that call from Mace early and I called them and they came back over with me and we went on and did what we had to do. But one thing that did caught my attention, cause this story went viral, but I did notice a whole lot of big media outlets when they was reporting about this story, they all were saying that Mace was lying. Nah. He, Mace ain't, he, you know, they might, you got to understand when you scared and you see, you know, a bunch of dudes, whether he said it was 70, 30, 20, 10, you, you in fear of your life. You understand? So when you in fear of your life and then everybody that you come with ain't that no more and ain't picking up their phone. You're going to look, a, you know, you're going to feel a certain way. 
I can understand where he's coming from. Or I can say I feel where he's coming from. But every time he called me, I picked up my phone. I'm going to pick up my phone. Because all of us should have been going back home. I got to live with that. 